Well, good morning. The sun is shining and it feels good to be back out on the bank after what feels like an eternity of a winter and a horrendous couple of weeks just gone of absolutely terrible weather, snow, torrential rain, it's been freezing cold. I'm kind of hoping that that's all behind us now. We're here at the Lee Sinton Syndicate, which has three lakes all quite close together, which in my eyes lends itself to a mobile approach, which is exactly the way I like to fish. Now, I'm not just here to fish, I'm also here to talk to you about a piece of equipment which I find really useful in my fishing when it comes to keeping mobile, and that is the X-Trail Compact Barrow. So without further ado, let's get the barrow out, get her loaded and get out around those lakes. Right, that's everything on the barrow that I need for a day session. We're at our first destination. It's Lowell's Lagoon on the Lee Sinton Syndicate. And I am absolutely itching to get the rods out, if I'm honest. We've been messing about shooting a few shots of the barrow and stuff like that. So we're burning daylight. I really want to get some rods out. So here we go, let's get stuck in. Okay, so we're now on Molly's Mere. It's the second lake on the complex, slightly bigger than Lowell's Lagoon, which we've just been on. Caught a little common, and when I say a little common, I mean a very small common, maybe three pounds if that. Slipped that one back, did put the rods back out there um, for about another half an hour, and decided time's rocking on. We wanted to check out the other lakes on the complex, so everything got whipped back onto the barrow, and we're round here on Molly's Mere. So I've popped one rod up in the corner down there. I've got one more rod. I'm going to pull that back towards the corner behind me just down there. And then we're going to be back fishing again. Well, well, well. How's your look, eh? Just goes to show you the importance of um, being in the right place Keeping mobile allowed me to get round onto Molly's. Dropped a rig in the edge. Hadn't even got the other rod out, and this one was ripping away. Love a little common. No massive size, obviously, but a bit bigger than the one we had over on Lowell's Lagoon. And hopefully a sign of things to come. Probably going to spend another, maybe another hour or two up on this lake. Then as it moves towards the evening, we're going to move down onto the other lake just down there, which is called Helga's Creek. And hopefully we're going to pick up another fish, maybe a bigger fish, who knows? I'm really enjoying this mobile style of angling today. Let's crack on, see if we can get another one caught. Well, the day's cracking on now. There's been no more action to the rods up here on Molly's Mere. So what I'm going to do fairly shortly is get these rods reeled in, get back to the van, get my bed chair, get my overnight bag and get down to Helga's Creek, which is the lake behind us. It's slightly bigger than Molly's and uh, we're going to do an overnight session on there. I want to get there fairly sharpish. We've had a look at the weather app. It does look like there could be a bit of wet stuff coming in. Certainly looks like it on the horizon. So with that said, let's get cracking.
Well, we had a great start to the evening yesterday. We moved down here onto Helga's Creek and bagged one within about 15 minutes. Lovely little mirror just from a little snaggy spot in the edge. But after that, the weather didn't half drop cold. I think we had minus two last night and I think that pretty much killed the fishing for the evening. Uh, we've had nothing more this morning, so I'm pretty eager to get on the move and see if I can search out some more fish to have a go for. But before I do that, I want to talk to you about the X-Trail Compact Barrow, how I load it up and how I go about using it in my fishing. So, what do you get with the X-Trail Compact Barrow? I've laid everything out flat, I've disassembled the barrow so that I can show you that exactly. So let's start, you get the wheel, you get two handles, then you've got the frame. Now the frame itself is a low profile frame which comes in really handy if you're using a car or a smaller vehicle, it just takes up less room in the car, which is a big bonus when you're talking about a big bulky item, a tackle like a barrow. All right, so that's the frame, let's move on to the bags. You get the big dropping bag which goes in the main center area of the barrow and you get these two smaller dropping bags which go either side of the wheel. So you get loads and loads of storage with the X-Trail Compact Barrow. Let's put it all together and then I can show you. Okay, so the first step to assembling the X-Trail Compact Barrow is to fold out the legs on the frame and then attach the wheel. Tighten in the thumb screws as you go. When you've done that, you can flip the barrow over and fold up the bar at the front of the frame. This bar can be extended, extending the length of the frame, allowing you to get more weight over the wheel. Next, you want to attach the handles. There's lots of adjustment in these handles, allowing you to set them to a height which works best for you. I now add in the dropping bags either side of the wheel. These are great for heavy items such as water carriers, leads, etc. And then I drop in the main large under barrow bag. This bag's massive and contains the majority of the tackle that I take on a session. I'll show you exactly what goes into that bag in a moment, but there you go. That's the X-Trail Compact Barrow fully assembled and ready to go. Now, not only do I love all the extra storage that all these dropping bags give you, the fact that you can access them all from the side. So even when the barrow's got stuff on top of it, you can get things out from these barrow bags without having to unload everything off the barrow. Right, now I'm gonna show you exactly how much kit I get into the main barrow bag on the X-Trail Compact Barrow. First up is a large NXG bits pouch with all of my buzzers, and it's my NXG Compact Tackle Pouch. I use this NXG bait bag as like a little cool bag, and it's my brew kit, very important there. This little NXG pouch has six pots of hook baits in it. I've got two bait buckets with me on this session. This is the lightest one, it's got some maggots in it, so that goes in there too, and then it's my scales. On top of everything goes my NXG rig wallet. This has got loads of pre-tied rigs in it. Last into the bag goes a little hand towel, just in case I need to dry my hands when I'm tying solid bags. The zips on the side of this larger bag as well, so you can access the contents without having to unload the barrow. I just want to quickly show you the amount of adjustability that there is in the handles, allowing you to set them perfectly to the height that you require. Right, let's get the shelter down so I can show you exactly how I'm loading this barrow. I've been using a Tempest Broly V2 quite a lot and there's a good reason for that. One, it's the lightest shelter in the range and two, it's the compact size that it goes down to when it's packed away. I've actually done away with the bag that the Broly comes in and I'm using these straps off of the NXG Camera Tech bag to strap the Broly up and as you can see, it fits perfectly inside my Sanctuary Oval crib. Right, back to the barrow, I put my water carrier in one of the front drop-in pockets and the heavier of my two bait buckets in the other pocket. Next, I put my chair right at the front of the barrow over the top of these pockets. This is closely followed by my bivy mat. My bed chair goes on next, this goes right over the top of the wheel, keeping the weight forward and then it's the rest of my bags. These stack up at the back of the barrow and then on top of that goes my sanctuary oval crib. My retention sling then gets rolled up and put on the unhooking mat. Then lastly, it's my rods, my bank sticks, buzzers, landing net. These all get put on top of the barrow and lashed on using the safety barrow strap. I've also got a small rucksack with some overnight essentials such as my bed chair cover, some extra warm clothing, etc. And then it's back to Lowell's Lagoon. Okay, so we've come back up to Lowell's Lagoon. So I have one last go before we shoot off. The weather's turned though. It's cold, it's just started to rain. I can't really see it happening. We're gonna give it about another hour and then get off. But the point of this trip wasn't necessarily to come and catch as many fish as we can. It was to come and demonstrate the qualities of the X-Trail Compact Barrow. Now, let me address the elephant in the room quickly. I know that electric motorized barrows exist, but if you're not looking to spend the best part of a thousand pounds or more on a barrow to cart your kit around the lake, then something like the X-Trail Compact, like what I've got here, comes in at around 200 pounds and it is perfectly adequate to the job whether you're doing big sessions and you want to load it up with all your gear and just take it from the car to the peg or one of your, whether you want to stay light and compact mobile and organized the x-trail compact barrow is perfect for all of those scenarios 